or thing than these watches that I have spotted over the year are some of the most spectacular diamond watches you're ever likely to see. Perhaps one of the most amazing diamond watches I've seen this year is Breguet's Be Crazy, and as its name suggests, it really is insane. So there is a watch at the center of this writhing spectacle of diamonds. With each movement of the wrist, these diamond set strands throw out a shower of light. This watch by Chanel is in fact inspired by Gabrielle's only collection of diamond jewelry in 1932 called Bijou de Diamant. And her favorite motif was of course the comet. And we can see it here reinterpreted for our times in this very generous cuff bracelet with no less than 2,319 diamonds speckled with a few blue sapphires. It is like wearing the Milky Way on your wrist. Press on a certain comet and voila, the blue sapphire dial is revealed. Each year, Graf Diamond seems to outdo itself in the wonder of its diamond watches. And this year, the fascination didn't disappoint with more than 152 carats of diamonds. The central pear-shaped diamond, which is in fact a D flawless 38.13 carat stone, can be taken out and worn as a ring. So there you are, a transformable diamond jewelry watch. Slightly smaller, but definitely more wearable, is Harry Winston's Art Deco style watch, made up of platinum links set with diamonds. There are in fact 253 diamonds in this watch, and it has a really dainty mother of pearl dial. The name says it all. Jacob & Co's billionaire watch really is just in another league. It is set with no less than 260 carats of emerald cut diamonds. But I doubt you'll even tell the time with this because you'll be blinded by all those diamonds. 